Hey everybody, it's Vic. How are you? So we're going to talk about a particular plugin that is still in early access. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and pull up Bar Raider's Discord here. So if you're in his Discord and you have a Stream Deck Plus, which you saw a preview right behind me of, um, you're going to notice that there are some early access things like OBS tools, Twitch tools, and Voice Meter. Um, I use Wavelink, so I'm only going to talk about the Elgato software that I use, but you know, if you want to check out different things in early access, definitely check out Bar Raider. So I'm using OBS Tools version 2.9.1, and I want to show you all something pretty amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. Now, this is what my current Stream Deck Plus looks like right now, just because I am recording. Um, and the cool thing is I can now show you all in real time that I can touch stuff. Oh, check this out. I'm going to minimize myself real quick here. Pretty cool, huh? Now y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm kind of excited about that. I know it's been a while since I've actually worked on content, um, but I wanted to talk about this plugin because it's pretty amazing for the Stream Deck. And I already reached out to Bar Raider in regards to a specific feature I wanted um, to work the way that Wavelink is working when it comes to dials. But um, we're not gonna talk about that right now because it's not implemented, but when it is implemented, you will see the change, I'm sure, should Bar Raider decide to do it. So we're going to go to our new profile. This is going to be our demo. And we're going to start from scratch. So everybody has been using the OBS tools from Bar Radar to control their volume in OBS. Keep in mind, the volume in OBS input is very different from a Wavelink input. Using Wavelink to control your audio is just for your system audio and routing, but OBS audio cannot be controlled by Wavelink. So what you would want to do is use this particular plugin. Um, there is no official Elgato plugin for controlling your volume in OBS, but Bar Radar, a pretty awesome new, you know, plugin that he's working on, which is an early access, is going to have it for your dials. So the first thing you're going to do is create a dial stack, or if you don't want to do a dial stack and you want to do it individually, you can. So when you click on these dials, the options to your right are going to come up here and it's going to talk about what you can use and right now the only thing that is going to be compatible is input volume by bar raider so you can actually just drag it here and just select whatever input it is and in this case it'll be the wave xlr microphone and what i'm going to do is pop out my audio mixer from obs and i'm just going to show you a preview of how this works so it can move the thing up and down and you're seeing it real time, and I know you're hearing my voice fade in and out, but you're seeing it real time. You're seeing it, that I can control this entire slider with just a little roll of a button. Now, I have multiple inputs for different scenes, and if I were to switch scenes, you'd probably see like my gaming setup. I'm just trying to reconfigure my... <laughs> my stuff because every time I do this I end up having to move windows around here in OBS now if you wanted to do dial stacks and the reason why I say dial stacks and if you didn't see what I did we're going to do that again we're going to right click and create dial stacks you can do the same thing for each individual input and cycle through them so basically what you would do is you would push the button and it would cycle through the next and that is something that Wavelink already has a feature of and I can show you and demonstrate it with Wavelink here. So your input actions, right? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and delete the one from Bar Raider real quick here. And, uh, oh, I thought I chose my Wavelink. There we go. And I could choose my browser. And I did a video on this before. And I'm just going to show you a preview. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my OBS. And I'm going to toggle my Wave XLR. So if you can see, Zoom in. Okay, so if you can see here, I can tap to mute and unmute. When it comes to Wavelink, I can cycle through it and I can tap to mute and unmute. And then there's Bar Raider. I can't tap to mute and unmute at this current time, but I can rotate the dials to still control the slider in OBS. And so far, that's all that you can do with this early access plugin is rotate the slider. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete 
the dial stack because they don't need it. <laughs> and I never adjust my microphone volume unless I'm absolutely loud. So as you can see in OBS, I have it at eight minus eight decibels. Um, and you can still hear me perfect. I just wanted to show you all the early access that Bar Raider has been working on because I'm extremely excited about this, but I am hoping that tap to mute and unmute will come in very soon. Anyways, thanks for watching.